2008-ish, maybe early 2009, up through 14, which you're familiar with, uh, there was a drilling activity and there was methane levels at stream level that were uh, very high. Uh, industry act reacted extremely quickly. I believe uh, the, the issue there was they found an orphan well that, you know, again, my fellow commissioner down there, uh, uh, Eric, he uh, pointed out, let's do it right. Well, obviously our history here in the United States back in the 1800s, 1900s, we didn't do it right. No. And, you know, there's a lot of wells, especially in the western part of Pennsylvania, that are, are orphaned wells. And by golly, we find them every once in a while. Uh, but the industry really uh, is taking a proactive role in cleaning those up once they're found. Um, and perhaps uh, Mr. Anderson can comment further on our abandoned well program here in the Commonwealth. Um, I also want to uh, comment, I have a son that's serving in the Air Force, and every time I fill my uh, Jeep with gas, I just wonder what part of that dollar that I'm paying may be going to fund an IED uh, that's taking out our servicemen. So I would encourage Congress to really look hard at, at incentivizing the industry, the manufacturing industry, industry of our vehicles, uh, to let's get this thing rolling so we can get as many vehicles converted uh, to CNG as possible. I know the state has a proactive uh, program, but it needs to be incentivized more at the federal level. I I'm, I'm working with several uh, House members, senators, and set, setting up a, a, a true energy policy here in the United States. <laughs> and we have to do this simultaneously. We need an infrastructure, we need uh, the auto industry, the area equipment industry, we need the construction industry. If we do this, and I, I, if we can put a man on the moon, transplant a heart, we can do this. And if we do this simultaneously, uh, we don't need any funds from the federal government as far as I'm concerned. I think private enterprise can take this ball and run with it. They are the innovators to begin with. Uh, I'm a states rights guy. Less federal government in my life, the better. And uh, in the next five to ten years, we can be energy independent. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Congressman Maria, I, I, I am very excited and bullish about this even though the, the, the brick count is, is lower right now because the shift is to oil and wet, wet gas in particular. But with increased utilization, uh, we can convert at some point, we can get the automakers to start mass producing natural gas vehicles. I remember attending a meeting here in Williamsport some time ago and billionaire T. Boone Pickens said, if we could convert our trucks and tractor trailers the natural gas, we could reduce the dependency on foreign oil by 60% in America. So we need a national policy. We need leadership from the president's office. There are various permits pending before the president and her to allow for uh, terminals such as the Code Point project in Maryland. Uh, there's possibilities in Philadelphia to use the port in Philadelphia and refineries. Uh, there's just so much opportunity. We have the gas in the ground. We have the largest field in America, the natural gas field in America. And with greater utilization, usage of natural gas is greater jobs, more wells being drilled, more production, more storage and transmission. So uh, we do need a little bit of help, though, at the national level. Uh, and I appreciate your comment. We, we can do that at the national level level by eliminating drug crushing regulation and taking the costs off of private enterprise in the state. And I don't want people to think that I'm just a, a fossil fuel guy. I'm not. I, I would love to have 10 or 12 sources of energy. I would love to have solar developed and wind developed and bio developed. But we're not there yet. We can't afford it. You know, that, that that's been established because of the money that we've been wasted on these. But we have to do some serious development very um, small military, you know, who's the one that comes up with state-of-the-art uh, military, whether it's in the cutting edge of electronics, uh, you know, let's, let's involve the minds that we have there as well as the private enterprise. Thank you. Thank you, Congressman. Um, uh, I want to thank the